Breastplate check. Armor of God coming together. Austin, what on earth are you wearing? Hey, Michelle. Well, this is my new getup. From today, I'll be wearing it every day. I knew it. I knew this would happen. You've lost your mind. Lost my mind? What do you mean? The pandemic, isn't it? The lockdown. You know what? I can't deal with this right now. Wait, come back. Let me explain. You see what I'm wearing? This is the armor of God. Every Christian must wear this. I don't get it. Listen, I was talking to Chira Steve Kisukwa on the phone. I was telling him I was feeling kind of low because our tra Easter travel plans had been ruined by the pandemic. Then he gave me the best news ever. What did he say? He said that he was inviting me to an exciting, fun-filled, Bible-based boot camp adventure for a whole week. Really? Yes, from 12th to 17th April, 2021. Then I asked him, how do I get there? He then told me, it is a surprise. He also told me that I would need the armor of God. Keep talking. I told him I didn't have the armor of God, so he sold this one to me. No. And you paid him? Yes. I used up all the money I was saving from the school term just to buy this. How cool is that? Steve was just teasing you. The armor of God is not a physical one. It's not? No. And where were you planning to go wearing that? Check this out. He said that you are going to the Nairobi Central SDA Church Vacation Bible School. He said that I don't even have to leave my house. He said that many other children would be there. He said that he would also be there wearing the armor. TV is so funny. Wait a minute. He won't be wearing this. I think you need to get your money back. The armor of God is not a physical one. Hmm. It was too big anyways. Wait. If the armor of God isn't real, then what is it? It is real, just not physical. It is a metaphor for the tools that God gives us to protect ourselves. A metaphor what? A metaphor. A comparison to help us understand things better. Like when Jesus says, I am the bread of life. Oh, yes. He does not mean the literal meaning we put him on a plate and eat him up. Exactly. Children, join us for the Nairobi Central SDA Church Vacation Bible School. Austin, can you guess what it's about? Of course, the, the armor of, of God. God. We will find that in the book of Ephesians, chapter 6, verse 11 to 18. Aha! Be strong in the Lord, and in his mighty power, put on the full armor of God, so that you can take a stand against the devil's schemes. Put on the belt of truth, the breastplate of righteousness, the shoes of gospel, the shield of faith, the helmet of salvation, and, and this, yes, the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Cool. Truth, salvation, peace, faith, and the word of God. Wait, how does all this help me? You see, there is a battle going on right now. A battle between good and evil. God is good and he rescues us. Satan, Satan is bad and he is the enemy. Do you ever feel torn between doing the right thing and the wrong thing? Like choosing between obeying or disobeying your parents. You can be certain of one thing. As long as you follow Christ and are doing something for Jesus, the enemy will always oppose you. He will attack you and he doesn't care how old you are. Although we might not see it with our eyes, we are in a constant battle with the devil. 
That is very scary, Sergeant Michel. Well, it could be. But the good news is, we are not alone. Jesus says in the book of Luke chapter 6, verse 19, that he has given us authority over all the power of the enemy. Nothing will hurt us by any means. Jesus gives us victory, but we have to follow the rules. We have to put on the whole armor of God to protect ourselves. Aha, now I get it. Children, join us for the Nairobi Central SDA Church Vacation Bible School, where we learn what this battle is all about and how we can put on the full armor of God. As teacher Steve says, it will be a fun-filled, Bible-based boot camp adventure. Yes, and do you know why you don't have to leave your house? Why? It will be a virtual vacation Bible school. You too can be enlisted as a soldier in the army of God. Don't come alone. God wants you to invite a friend. Invite your neighbors, your classmates. Invite all the children to come on this adventure with you, with us. Even little children can be very powerful when they use the name of Jesus. That is very true. One last thing. <laughs> Kindly consider supporting our budget of 300,000 Kenya shillings by sending your contributions to the church pay bill number or church account number displayed on your screens. Now, Austin, take these off. Here, let me upgrade you. This is the 21st century. So, from now on, you are private Austin. Yes, sir. Private Austin reporting for duty, sir. I'm in the Lord's army. Yes, sir. I'm in the Lord's army. Yes, sir. I may never march in the infantry, ride in the cavalry, shoot the artillery. I may never zoom on the enemy, but I'm in the Lord's army. Yes, sir!